You know, Aaron Judge is having such a good season. It harkens back to the what he called the clean years of the 1960s and 70s where big home run hitters would have put out outstanding numbers. I can't really compare with George Foster in 77 because he's an overall player. Uh, hits for average, uh, great on defense. Foster had some problems on defense. And his best season was 52 home runs. Now, as of today, August 25th, the day before my birthday, Aaron Judge has hit the 50 uh, home run mark yet again. He's having a great uh, past month of the season. I think August is his lucky month. Only he and Vladimir Guerrero, the Blue Jays, are really uh, burning it up like they should uh, this month. Although Otani will probably go 50 for 50, I think Judge's accomplishments this year <clears throat> are uh, beyond the pale. Uh, a thousand hits in his career and over 300 home runs. Now, Judge's early life is, is quite interesting. He was born in Sacramento. He was adopted a day after he was born by Patty and Wayne Judge, who both worked as teachers in Linden, California. He and his older brother John were both adopted. Judge is biracial. He was also grow, grow up as a San Francisco Giants fan. Now, when he attended Linden High School, he was a tree sports star. He played as a pitcher and first baseman for the baseball uh, team. Uh, a very, very successful uh, uh, career there. Uh, and also wide receiver for the football team and as a center for the basketball team. He set a school record for TDs in football and led the basketball team in points per game with 18.2. In baseball, he was part of the Linden High School team that made the California Interscholastic Federation Division Three playoffs. He eventually graduated from Linden in 2010. Now, various colleges recruited Judge to play tight end in football, including Notre Dame, Stanford, UCLA, but he preferred baseball. The Oakland Athletics selected him in the 31st round of the 2010 MLB draft. However, he, he opted to enroll at California State University Fresno, Fresno State, to play for the Fresno State Bulldogs baseball team in the, in the WAC. In 2011, Judge was part of a Fresno State team that shared the WAC regular season title, who won the WAC tournament and qualified for the 2011 NCAA Double uh, Division I baseball tournament. Louisville Slugger also named him a freshman All-American. He won the 2012 TD Armor Trade College Home Run Derby. He did also play collegiate summer baseball for the Brewster Whitecaps of the Cape Cod Baseball League in the summer of 2012. In his junior year, Judge led the Bulldogs in home runs, doubles, and runs batted in. Judge was named to the All-Conference team in all three of his seasons for the Bulldogs in the WAC in his first two seasons and the Mountain West Conference as a junior. The Bulldogs, of course, joined the MW in July 2012 between his sophomore and junior seasons. Now, this is where it gets freaky, and I'm looking at you, Nick Swisher. The Yankees drafted Judge in the first round of the 2013 MLB draft with a 32nd overall selection, so 31 teams passed on him. This pick was uh, the, the, uh, one that the Yankees received as compensation after losing Nick Swisher in free agency. Judge signed with the Yankees and received a $1.8 million signing bonus. Unfortunately, he tore a quadricep femoris muscle while participating in a base running drill, which kept him out of the 2013 season. Now, he made his pro debut with the Charleston River Dogs of the Class A South Atlantic League in 2014. He had a 333 batting average, which was sixth in the association, a 428 uh, OBP, and a 530 slugging percentage. He had a 958 OPS with nine home runs with 49, 45 RBIs in 65 games for Charleston. The Yankees then promoted him to the Tampa Yankees of the Class A Advanced Florida State League during the season, where he hit 283 with a 411 OPB, which was second in the league, 442 slugging, eight home runs, and 33 RBIs in 66 games for Tampa. Now, ironically, the invited judge to a spring training as a non roster player in 2014. Judge began the 2015 season with the Trenton Thunder of the Class A Eastern League. After Judge batted 284, uh, uh, 355, 10, fifth in the league with 12 home runs in 63 games for Trenton, the Yankees promoted Judge to the Scranton Wilkesbury Rail Raiders of the Class A International League in June. He was chosen to represent the Yankees as the 2015 All Star Futures game. The Yankees decided not to include Judge in their September call ups, obviously uh, hoping he was going to continue to recover from that major injury. Now, Judge uh, batted. 224 with eight homers in 61 games for Scranton Wilkes-Barre. The Yankees did invite Judge to spring training 2016, and he began the season with Scranton Wilkes-Barre. He was now named to the National League All the International League All Star team in 2016, but did not play in the 2016 Triple A All Star game 
after he spent a month on disabled list due to a knee strain. In nine three games for the Rail Raiders, he batted 270 with 19 home runs, fourth in the league, 62 runs scored, and 65 RBIs. So he's showing, uh, like I said, big talent uh, with that uh, uh, big frame. As it stands right now, this is this is what happened with Judge, ladies and gentlemen. He was part of uh, an early call-up on the end of the season in August of 2016, starting in right field against the Tampa Bay Rays. In his first major league at bat, he hit a home run after off my, my, uh, Matt Andresi. The previous batter, Tyler Austin, also making his ML debut, had done the same. This marked the first time the two teammates had hit home runs in their first MLB career at bats in the same contest. Judge also hit home run in his second MLB game, becoming the second Yankees player after Joe Lefevre in 1980 to homer each his first two MLB games. His debut season was uh, less less than stellar. He batted 179 and struck out 42 times in 84 at bats, uh, 95 official plate appearances. And it ended prematurely, of course, with another injury, an oblique strain against the Dodgers on September 13, 2016. Now, he shut him, shut him down for most of this uh, season. And, of course, 2017 was his breakthrough year. Now, he's been kind of hobbled with injuries over the last number of seasons, but this year, being uh, completely uh, uh, healthy, has been working. Now, ironically, ladies and gentlemen, the, uh, the number 99, he's, he's the second big major leaguer to make that number extremely successful. Of course, uh, the... Uh, the Wayne Gretzky number. Now, in 2016, Judge stated he would have preferred either number 44, retired by Yankees honor Bridgie Jackson, or number 35, but was not sure whatever he would switch if the latter two were to become available. Now, uh, the uh, uh, the nickname, of course, he's had through the years is called Big Aaron Judge. Now, as it stands right now, ladies and gentlemen, he's a genetic freak. I don't think the poundage is accurate. They say he's 6'7", 282. He looks more like 300. Uh, due to his large size and strength, he has enlisted comparisons to teammate Giancarlo Stanton, as well as former MLB players Richie Sexton, Dave Winfield, and Willie Stargell. Now, uh, very good with the, the charities. He's also a very spiritual person as a Methodist uh, Christian. Now, as it stands right now, ladies and gentlemen, on the, on this season, and has been a great, uh, great August for him, he continues to, uh, uh, what do you call, uh, have something similar to that 62 home run uh, season. Now, as it stands right, right now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, he's bad, he has uh, 50 home runs on the, on the campaign uh, with uh, uh, more than 120 RBIs with 102 uh, runs scored. So, but in recent uh, seasons, uh, th- this is some, some very interesting stats, ladies and gentlemen. In the last three campaigns, 62 131, 37 75, injury plague season, of course, and this year 50 and I think 121 as we uh, state this. So he's hit um, uh, nearly 150 home runs over the last uh, three seasons. And again, he's one of the few major league hitters to hit 50 home runs in a campaign. Now he's 52 in uh, 2007, was hot off the block, but again, uh, injury plagued. He's really only been healthy since pretty well 2022. But a healthy Aaron Judge could easily hit between 65 and 70 home runs. Uh, right this year, he's batting uh, 332. He's a big candidate for a triple crown. And as unofficially stats at the OPS, well, 1.189 as of this, uh, this uh, writing. So ladies and gentlemen, Aaron Judge, probably one of the most consistent ball players uh, of the modern era, hitting a lot of home runs. But the idea is there's a zone about 16 inches, just like, uh, just like uh, uh, you know, Frank Howard, uh, Harold McKillibrew, Reggie Jackson. If you go in that zone, you're going to pay for it. But I find this year his swing is a lot more accurate. He was known for a lot of aggressive strikeouts, uh, you know, when he's uh, coming back you know, from injury year, especially 2023. If you look at the rough numbers, ladies and gentlemen, uh, he struck out. Like I said, 2017 came out and he struck out 208 times. These are weird numbers. And his career, ladies and gentlemen, he's almost struck out 1,200 times in less than uh, 3,500 uh, official uh, plate appearances. So he's either going to hit a home run or, uh, you know, get it done. Now, again, a six-time uh, All-Star, uh, one-time uh, MVP, Rookie of the Year as well. And uh, 
ladies and gentlemen, I would suspect uh, 10 to 15 home runs for Judge going in September, 10 to 15 for Vladdy, 10 to 15 for Shohei Otani. So uh, check uh, tsn.ca, whatever, CBS Sports, to see, uh, you know, the following stats is going to be quite interesting. Very comparable to 1977 and very comparable to, like I said, the Hank, uh, the Hank Aaron and Willie Mays years. I think Aaron Judge is one of the most complete basketball players I've covered. And uh, he entered kind of late. But like I said, if he stays healthy next to in 10 years, it's going to be tremendous. At least 600 home runs. And from there, sky's the limit. Will he hit 63 home runs this year? Stay tuned. So that's the some of the early life and some of the story of Aaron Judge. If you uh, like what you're doing here, we're a New York Yankee podcast. Let us know what a like, comment, subscribe, or share.